both these teams coming off a hard fought games over the weekend on this court on Saturday Davidson knocked off St. Joe's by one and the team with the ball St. Bonaventure rallied from an 18 point deficit in the second half at home against George Washington forced the game into overtime where they eventually lost. Now we saw this on Sunday they only scored 21 points in the first half banks pull up see if that can get them going. They went the last four minutes of the first half without scoring a bucket went to the halftime locker room with only 21 total points and nearly tripled that 21 in the second half and also overtime that's Desmond Watson Wildcats two for two shooting three so far. He's 16. <laughs> Why does that matter when you have a four guard lineup and you have a big you can space the floor. That's exactly what they're looking for. Hey, David Skogman this month, he knocks down a three. Davidson three for three from distance. He's made eight out of 11 and this Skogman, month. Skogman, coach told us, is the best shooter on the team. And they're trying to get him to shoot more. They're like, shoot more, shoot more, shoot more. Davidson starting out hot here. St. Bonaventure trying to find it. Farrell on the drive, offensive foul. Now they have this turnover allows St. Bonaventure to finally get on the board again. And Luke knocks it down. Kyrell Luke, if you watch them on Sunday, he hit the shot that tied it up in the final seconds to send it to overtime and also really helped help them hang around in that second half. Good cut there by Foster Lawyer. Thanks for the pull up. Once again, a possession core where they can't get the ball inside to Venning. Lawyer pull up three. Got it. This is a disaster for St. Bonaventure. And we'll see if the offense can get it going right now. They're shooting less than 50 percent. And on the other side Davidson at 60 percent. And also they've made half of their threes. There it is. There's that look inside to Venning and he has a good that. snapshot of the first half right there. So look right here. This is what we've seen this play. I can't tell you how many times a million times. Pick and roll. Luke has never ever gotten him the ball that fast. Still trailing quite a ways. Lawyer and Menenga. Okay, we'll see if Jan Farrell's three can get the body started here. Now they trail by 15. Came from 18 back in the second half on Sunday. Foster Lawyer, another three. Nothing good, but net. Good defense, just a better, better offense, and that's kind of been the story for Davidson. In addition to an impeccably smart defensive game plan that they've executed to a T, they've hit everything. And doubling up right now on the bodies at 40 to 20. I've been impressed by how even keeled this Davidson team's felt. Make it 19 and the easiest two yet from an end gun. They've been even keeled. They've had their moments where you, you've almost seen the exclamation point. But I have not seen an entire game of exclamation points. And I think this is important here, Paul, because they've been leading by like 18 plus points for the vast majority of the time we've been watching this game, right? Very easy to get complacent. And I've been looking to two guys, Watson and Huffman, the two kind of thermometers of this team, the two Energizer Bunnies, and they hadn't really had a need to step in and say, hey, let's go, let's keep it up, let's keep playing like Davidson. Good kick outside there to Flowers. Knocks down a three. Okay, so the lead cut from 15 down to 12. They still trail by a dozen, but they were trailing by 22. Good crossover from Rumpel. Kick out to Banks. Little deep on the three and Foster Lawyer. Comes up with the ball. Missed opportunity there for St. Bonaventure. Would have cut it down to a 10 point lead. And Lawyer already with 20 points gets that to go. If I'm Coach Schmidt, I, I, like I said, I don't expect to win this game right now. And this is just realistically. And they push it up to Menenga, and that's his second stop of the second half. Pushes his total up to 24 for the night. Inside of 10 seconds now, St. Bonaventure will look for one final basket. Pull up there from Flowers. Good from three. And it'll land in fitting fashion. St. Bonaventure just couldn't get it down to a less than 12 point deficit. In the end, Davidson wins by 13 in a game where they built their cushion to double digits early. Corey at home. This is back to back wins. At Bell Arena for Matt McKillop and Davidson. They move their record to three and two in the month of February. And one game closer to 513 and 14 overall.